They may be miles away from Tallahassee, but students here in South Florida are also making sure their voices are being heard on this issue. At several schools already today, we've seen large crowds of students like this one leave the classroom and march in solidarity demanding action. CBS 4's Riel Creighton joins us live from Cypress Bay High School in Weston, the site of one of the many walkouts. Riel? Well, Elliot, in some cases, these walkouts were actually sanctioned by officials in the school, but thousands of students here left from nearby Cypress Bay filled into this park behind me. They told us they were standing with the students of Stoneman Douglas and also finally trying to send a visual message that they believe would do something about guns. Another day of countywide walkouts at schools across Broward. Protests in the wake of a shooting that killed 17 people in Parkland. Above Western High School in Davie, the mass of marching kids leaving school on a Wednesday. At Cypress Bay. Every day I go to school and I think about like, wow, what if that was here? Teens comforting other students outside class in a nearby park who lost friends. Thousands leaving the school for what turned into an emotional rally. You're coming to school worried that something might happen to you. Holding signs with a pointed message for lawmakers. I don't understand how many lives need to be lost in order for some change to happen. Calling for an end to gun violence to put new pressure on an old debate. What started as a spontaneous resistance at some schools now with days of walkouts, students preparing for a planned exodus from the classroom. Come together and stay strong for the school and stay strong for the lives that were lost. Yeah, and this is uh, not over yet. There are more walkouts and marches planned. Student organizers from Parkland are actually mar planning what they're calling a March for Our Lives on Washington on March 24th. We're live in Weston, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.